Kevin Manning win the derby for Jim and Jackie Bulger. It was a race I really wanted to win for, for a, a long time. There was a lot of family there and a lot of people that we knew and, and when you walk back in time to take all those and took, you could see all those faces and people sit there congratulating you. Even when you walk up by the stands there was people along the wall and you know, faces you knew hadn't maybe seen for ages. It was just it was a very special moment. Lots of people did say to me afterwards that they never heard a cheer like it or at least it was, you know, it was a a fantastic reception that he got and I know all the the lads in the weighing room afterwards they came out with us the, the night after and we had a great celebration and I suppose that's testament to his popularity. Kevin Manning, I can't speak highly enough of him, he's the most dedicated, he's one of the best professionals in our game, he's a guy you'd look up to every day of the week, he says nothing, he just gets the job done. New approach, he's a body cult, he wins the derby. And obviously new approach, he won the Epsom Derby, another fabulous moment. It's something you always always dream about, I think from the time you're a, you're a kid, you hear so much about the Epsom Derby and it's it's a race, I think, from, from flagpole, it's a race that you really, really want to win. And um, to have got the two of them now was fantastic. You're married to Una, of course, Jim, Jim's daughter. Tell me a bit about how important family is to you. Well, family is everything. It's it's the most important thing, you know, if you have to choose family is, is number one. But, um, yeah, it's great. And Una has, you know, well, I mean, they, they've, we want to grow up in the game, so she knows what to, what to expect and, and she knows what bad days are like and what good days are like. And, you know, I think the kids have, have they've seen so many bad days now, they've, they, they, they appreciate the good days as well. And you've known Una since you were kids, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how, how did it all kind of develop the way that it, that it has? I don't know, I could always... Um, when I was in the yard, I was working there, always gone very, very well, and one thing led to another. <laughs> <laughs> was it nerve-wracking asking Jim, you know, that moment when you wanted to take Una's hand in marriage? Was that quite a nerve-wracking <laughs> moment? Well, it was. I wasn't, I wasn't going to. <laughs> but we, we were going out for a long, long time, I think, before anybody knew, and, and um, you know, we moved on, and, and we eventually got married, and things have worked out well. You're pretty tall very tall for a jockey and you still manage to ride round eight stone eight. Now you've been doing that for a very long time. How tough is that on you psychologically, physically? Yeah, that's that's the probably the hardest part of the the game and um, it, it's probably it, it's what the, it takes it takes the good over the times. Um, you know, a, a couple of years ago it was probably harder until the, the Adrian McGoldrick got getting the weights and a lot of other people with him. Um, they got the weights, put up that couple of pounds, which was uh, it was it was a you know it was a, a lifesaver really. I'd done all the diets years ago and and took little bits from them all and found what worked for me, found what didn't work for me, and um, you know I, I just if I come home and I feel I need I need something to eat, I'll, I'll have something. And there's nights where I come home and I I know I can go to bed and I might have a breakfast instead, or you know I just juggle it around and 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 it works. You're you're big into your outdoor pursuits, winter and, and summer. Do you think that? really kind of helps you having those outside interests other than racing i think it's i think it's a huge plus um i think it's a huge plus for 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 my weight as well as as mentally um you know to come out into the i, I love love working around the gardens and and pattern you know day in day out when you're when, even when you get a couple of hours in the mornings or before racing but I, I i do a lot of shooting during the winter months and it keeps me very busy keeps me walking and um and i love i love the I love the dogs and, and getting them out. Catching a few big pike I saw there recently. Yeah, James enjoys the fishing like myself and we, 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 we like getting, getting down and doing a little bit of fishing and, and he enjoys that and we've had a couple of great days out. There's so many things that you've achieved in the racing game I and mean, all these big wins. I mean, is there one more thing that you want to do before you tentatively walk away? Well, I'd be quite happy to ride any, any one of them winners again. I'm sure you're only 46, Daddy. Rode his last winner at 58, so, you know, we'll be seeing plenty more of you, I'm sure. I won't be till 58, though, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> There's only one less to pick it.